All right, this video we'll be talking about um, basically setting up a hyper terminal or setting up a putty, uh, which is used just like hyper terminal. So there's a, a big discrepancy, you know, uh, it's kind of hard to find hyper terminal these days, but if you have the file, great. This will be on a Windows 7 environment, um, and it will also be connecting to a 1203 USB uh, to a uh, Kinetic 6000. So first and foremost, the two zip files I have is the Hyper Terminal Win 7, and I have the Putty. I already have Hyper Terminal connected, or or actually on this this uh, PC. So what I'll do is I'll open it, and uh, you know, new connection. You can just te put test. Doesn't really matter. Uh, select your com. Uh, right now, what we'll do, I don't have the, the connection plugged in, but I'll plug it in. So I'm going to plug in the 1203 USB. And I'm going to go down to Device Manager to make sure that it is set up. So open up Device Manager, open up the ports, verify that you do have your Allen Bradley 1203 USB in your COM port. This COM port is very crucial to making sure that you actually uh, you put this in the right spot so now in this section we'll do new connection uh, we will do new connection and we won't save it so let's do that again test and then select COM3 when you select COM3 you want to change to the 11 uh, 5200 which is the standard for uh, basically communicating to a drive from a 1203 USB uh, which is a, a serial to our uh, it's a USB to serial connection so in that instance right there leave the rest of this fine uh, apply At that point hit enter and as soon as you hit enter, you have uh, the ability to flash. So you can do two things. You can, this is telling you you have the USB to DPI communication. You, what revision uh, you're using on your 1203 USB, which is the uh, 1.004. You can either display parameters of the drive, you can uh, display the event queue, or you can flash. In this case, we wanted to flash. This will ask you if you want to select the 1203 USB or it will ask you if you want to do the uh, uh, the two, uh, 2094 which is basically uh, the servo rack that we have we're using the kinetics uh, that's the catalog number for the kinetics 6000 that we're using so if we chose to do that we basically just you know it tells you in this instance right now you have chosen zero uh, as your topic or as your your device you want to flash it tells you to I know, get everything ready basically and as soon as you get everything ready if you if you were to sum all this up and as soon as you hit C I'm sorry let's do that again uh, zero as soon as you hit I believe it's uh, press control X to cancel uh, you press uh, yes and then as soon as you have the file location ready, then you press yes. What I like to do is I like to have my, my uh, firmware file like on my, my PC or like on the desktop so it's easy to find. So in this instance, this is the flash for uh, a 700 drive, but we're not doing that right now. So if I click, if I hit uh, the Y button right now, it would start looking for it. In this instance, you want to hit transfer send file look browse for the hyper terminal file make sure you have it click it click open and then as soon as you click open it will try to flash that so as soon as you click open it gets the location in here and you, you all, all you got to do is hit send and it starts the communication process now I'm not going to do that because this is actually for this firmware right here is actually for the a uh, PowerFlex drive and not a um, K6K or, or Kinetic 6000. 
So that's showing the hyperterminal view. Okay, so in the same instance, let's uh, let's do that with putty. So to basically extract putty. I want to extract it. Now with putty, you don't have to actually install it. You just click it open. When you click it open like that, what you want to do is you want to go down to the serial connection and again make sure in your device manager that your port is connected so you want to verify which port you're on because you got to change the serial line to connect to COM3 and again you want to change to 115200 uh, make sure that's on do not click open yet uh, you want to go to translations and translations you want to make sure that you click on use font in both ASCII and OEM modules then you want to go into session you want to change it to serial which will automatically pop up right here and in this section you, you will basically the save sessions you want to go ahead and save the values that are in here so you can come back later and quickly just you don't have to set all this up all every time. This is just the first pass. So the first time you do it, you have to do this. So we'll put uh, we'll put putty test Let's actually keep that like that. Then hit save. Once you hit save, um, that's basically going to go. Uh, to that section right so you can open it up whenever you want to then you can hit open hit enter and you have the same abilities you have on the hyper terminal with that we'll go to the uh, we'll select three when we selected three it opened up with the same options we got uh, zero or two we can flash either or the servo module or we can flash the 1203 USB in this instance we will go select the servo again click yes it starts that process and you still have to link everything up so no worries on that well uh, you can make another video on that but I just wanted to show the difference in how to set up the putty file and also with putty too I wanted to want to show you so like I said um, with this being the way it is it comes in a natural state all the time so easily like in your session file right here all you have to do if you have one saved already is just put in load and it loads it back up for you and you simply open it back up and it's just that easy right so what we'll do you can also do a log So I won't say that the logging is right here. You can put log, and you could put uh, putty log, and you can put putty file test, and then you can browse that location. Um, it's going to put it in the same. I'll, I'll put it in the same folder, and then. Again, I want to come back to sessions, make sure I load this back in, make sure I come back to logging. <clears throat> That's what kind of what I was getting at. The logging may not keep. So first and foremost, you want to go to the session and make sure you, you load in your value. Uh, so putty, we'll put test, uh, test log. And then at this point, we'll come back to session and hit save and then open. Now hit enter. And then this should be tracking what you're, what you're doing. So maybe I did not, maybe it's not loading in. It's kind of good you're seeing this because you want to get the logging actually right. And 
then I believe it's oh right here session logging so all sessions output so you want to make sure that's in there again go back to set uh, sessions make sure you you have your session loaded save and then open it up <coughs> and it starts logging what you did so you can kind of see exactly what is going on here you know and this is the difference in, in, in hyper terminal and putty so at this point we want to hit in three uh, we want to hit zero so it kind of gives you the connection you have it lets you know the, the stuff you're doing so it tells you that we've connected we did our main menu we've entered in the value and we come back to firmware flash. So we'll exit out of that. And then our, our uh, value stays in there that what we've done. So if you come back and look at it, you can tell exactly what you did from the prior uh, prior session you had, and you you know you have a log. That's kind of what I'm getting at. So uh, all in all, this is the difference in hyper terminal and putty. Um, in my opinion, I think Putty has some positive points to it. It's free. You can easily search it on the internet and get the get the file. Um, Hyper Terminal is kind of going away. It's kind of harder to find without pay, having a paid service. So what I would recommend is, is you know, if you want to get comfortable with it, try Putty. Again, that pops up a, a dry session every time. So it, all you have to do is make one. You make this uh, session. If you're using the serial. Uh, make sure you set up the serial first and don't click open until you're ready to open it so in that same instance once you have it set up all you have to do is go back to your save sessions load it as soon as you have it loaded then everything is fine and you click open hit enter do you want to overwrite yeah okay. so it's the exact same thing it makes it really really quick to hook up to it uh, hyper terminal is about the same thing. You can make it really quick to hook up to it. Um, there's, I guess, pros and cons to both. There's still both the serial connection USB. So, um, just wanted to point that out real quick and show how to use that. Hopefully, this was helpful. And uh, let me know. Um, give me a thumbs up, like, um, share this with with uh, anybody who needs it. So again, hyper terminal versus Putty using a 1203 USB. Uh, hooking up to a kinetics or hooking up to a drive like a, a 7 a powerflex 70 a powerflex 700 whatever the case may be all right well um, again go ahead and subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll have more coming for you thanks